Welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brian, and my hands is The Walking Dead Deluxe number 73. Now, for those who don't know, The Walking Dead Deluxe is The Walking Dead issue by issue, except colorized. Plus, there's a little bit extra with uh, Robert Kirkman's notes and him kind of discussing his original plans for the issue and then how things might have changed from his original notes to the final issue. It's a really fantastic way to go back and uh, re-read the series or read it for the first time. Written by Robert Kirkman, art by Charlie Adler, Color by Dave McCaig and lettering by Russ Wooten. Uh, so this is a, an interesting issue. Uh, it has, you know, uh, Rick and his crew attempting to assimilate in Alexandria. They're kind of going about their lives. Abraham is going about his first day on his job. Uh, and the other uh, you know, members of the team are, you know, kind of trying to adjust. Again, this has been going on for like the last couple of issues is can you get back to normal? And I, I keep on forgetting to bring it up. I think this the issue is actually very resonant. There, it, it's very appropriate, very uh, decades after it's been written. I think it actually resonates like way more uh, now than it did then. Now, uh, Walking Dead, when it originally came out, you know, a lot of uh, people would say is it was about the fear of the unknown of what was going on at the time, the height of... Uh, war on, on terror, you didn't really know kind of what was going to go on. A lot of unease at that point. Now, post-COVID, it's taken on a whole other uh, way of reading it, uh, you know, how we have adjusted and how they have adjusted. And I think these, the Alexandria issues are really interesting to be able to read in a post-COVID world. You've got uh, the Alexandrians who act like nothing happened, uh, that there was no, there's been like no major issues, that the threat is over. Everything is la da go back. You know, there was maybe some rough points that they don't want to talk about, but all good. And then you've got Rick and the rest of his crew, which, uh, who are much more grounded and uh, stuck in reality, who realize that the threat's still there. And I think that is uh, very much where we stand as a society. There is so many who want to pretend like the last four years hasn't been a thing, and then many others who... Uh, uh, realize that there's still a persistent threat going on and that, you know, we need to come to reality and face facts that everything's not hunky-dory. Um, so, yeah, so this is an interesting one. You got, you got Glenn and Rick doing their thing, uh, trying to get some weapons back. Michonne had, had a little bit of a one-night stand. Abraham's going on the outside to go build, so we get to see some of that situation. And overall, there's there's more hints that Alexandria's not quite up to the paradise that it makes, out, makes itself out to be. I think it is a solid issue uh, in that you get to see these characters really, uh, again, trying to adjust and, and you know, do their thing and plan for the future. I think it's really interesting uh, take on the, like, can they settle, can they not? Uh, and with that, like, the art is, is solid. Like, the series has always put, I think, put out really consistent art. You know, I think the, the coloring has been great so far. And uh, in this one, it, you know, you get interesting. There's there's not tons of action. There's eventually is like a, a little bit of a, a walker attack. But for the most part, like we're kind of in this like chill domestic phase of things. Uh, you know, people are talking relationships and all that. So it's interesting is that like the, the horror aspect is kind of dialed down, but the tension is, I think, ratcheted way up. Um, the notes, I think, are always interesting to see how things change. And, of course, there's all the, the letters in the back as well, new and old, which are pretty entertaining. Um, so, yeah, as, as always, I think it's a really cool way to go back and reread the series. For those who have never read it before, it's a great way to read the series. Uh, and just entertaining like that. Like, I, I recommend it. I think it's fun and, and solid stuff. So you can go get it. It is out in comic shops. we got a link beneath this video. Put your zip code to a tell if comic shop is near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so you do get a small percentage. And by doing that, you'll support our site. So thank you for that. Just watch your video, support us, so thank you as well. If you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.